Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Borg, and this is going to be a quick recap of the Florida Everblades versus Jacksonville Iceman, where the Iceman were not able to get any goals in this series other than in the 5-3 to three second game to be able to help out any of their goaltenders, including Charles Williams, because this was an off-series for Francois Broussard. But let's dive right into it. The first game, Francois Broussard did play very well as Elardi and Pedeza were able to score, and the Everblades were really able to defend the lead well. Broussard was good in this game, though. He was just not able to get any support <clears throat> um, from his Jacksonville Iceman teammates as he only let in one goal allowed, and then there was the empty net goal, of course, which was the Pendoza, P uh, Pendenza goal. And then in the second game, they, the Icemen were able to show some life uh, where they were able to have a 5-3 to three, um, loss in this game as Johnson was able to do enough in cage. And when it comes to net minding, for the Icemen, they had both guys in cage because Francois Broussard got torched in this game. And then Williams was able to come in to establish and kind of round out and get the game, the momentum going a little bit more towards the Iceman side, which worked when they do the backup goaltending coming in for Luco's team. It worked there, but they were not able to complete the comeback. They were just able to come back a little bit and not fully complete it, unfortunately, for the for the Jacksonville Iceman fans and fortunately for the Everblades fans. I mean, this was a great defensive series by the Everblades. I mean, they, I think they just knew and played to the strengths of what they needed to do to beat that opponent because they then, 5-3 to three game, they pushed the offense a little bit more because they knew they had to there. In the 2 nothing game, then in Game 3, where Broussard came out again because he let in two goals on two shots, and then Charles Williams came in again and balanced it out and really settled the playing field and had a very good game to calm the waters, but then they couldn't get a damn goal. So for how good their offense and overall play was in Round 1, sweeping the Atlanta Gladiators was how bad it was in Round 2 for the Iceman, and it also doesn't help when you're goaltender of the year. Yes, he's still a young cat, so I'm not, I think he's going to be a great goaltender in this league for years to come, Francois Broussard. It's just he's having those guys that haven't been here, done that in the playoffs type things happen, where he had struggle bunny moments big time in this series, and that's what happened um, in the third game as well, when uh, he let in two goals on two shots, and ended up being removed from that game, and the Everblades really just deed up well and were able to defend their lead, and they were not able to get anything on them as Solo and Pendenza scored as Pendenza got another goal. So, I mean, it, it wasn't the best series for Francois Broussard, obviously, but it also was a very off series for the Icemen in general, and I would have to give their team an overall D to an F, maybe even a failure grade would probably be the better acceptable one for that series because they left their goaltenders <clears throat> um, out to dry. In game one, they didn't get anything for Broussard. In game two, he came out and Williams came in and played like a bat out of hell for you and you couldn't get enough to complete the comeback for him. Williams played like a bat out of hell for you. Then when he came in in game three, couldn't get enough to complete it for him either. So that's unfortunate. And then Vander Esch, they were able to push with the defense from the Iceman and get it to overtime as Charles Williams was then in cage in that game, building up to be a very solid goaltender himself behind Broussard. I would think Francois Broussard is still the uh, rookie, or still not the rookie, is still the favorite going into next season to start. He just had an off playoff series, and that's fine. It just sucks if you're Iceman fans. Not the time of the year to do it. But when it comes to the Everblades, they get an A for this series because, no, they did not have the best offense. I understand that. So people are going to be saying, well, Joe, they didn't have the best offense. But they played to the strengths of what they needed to beat the opponent. The Iceman's offense was dead. The only time they had some life was in the second game after Williams came in. And then they weren't able to show anything after that. So in this entire series, they were just able to play to the strengths, minus that OT game. Obviously, in that OT game, in the other two nothing games, they were able to get the goals and defend the lead. In that OT game, they probably they obviously would have wanted to pot one on Williams a lot sooner. But in the other three, they just defended the leads well once they got them, closed out the games really well, and that's the makings of this Everblades team. Great defense, being able to push that north to their offense, and that's what they were able to do in this series. And somehow, the Icemen, after having a sweep, were not ready for how good the Everblades were going to be. And the Everblades get the A, the Icemen get the F on this series. This has been a series recap of the series sweep of the Everblades over the Icemen. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the EG's widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.